Hi, Dr. Marcia Sirota here, and today I want to talk to you about what makes a poor father figure. There are good father figures and not so good father figures, so I'm going to talk first about what makes a poor father figure, and then in my next video I'm going to talk about what makes a good father figure. So there are five qualities that make up a not so good father figure, and the first quality that makes up a not so good father figure is that this kind of poor father figure puts his own needs and feelings ahead of those of his children. For example, he will do what works best for him, what's most convenient, easiest, and enjoyable for him, even if it's not good for the kids. The next quality of a poor father figure is that he tells the children what they want to hear as opposed to telling them what is true. So if the children want to hear that um, the world is flat, he'll tell them that the world is flat. Because what he's doing is he's prioritizing his reputation as opposed to the needs of his children. And so it's not about what's good for the kids, it's really about what's good for the father figure. The next thing that the bad father figure does is he gives the children what they want as opposed to what they need. So if the children say, hey, we want to eat cake for dinner, we want to eat junk food for dinner, he'll say, okay, go ahead. And so they'll think, wow, what a cool dad. But the reality is these kids are going to be obese and malnourished and unhealthy. So that's not going to be good for him. So it might be great for his popularity, but it's not what's good for the children. And so again, as I said, the needs of the children are not the priority. It's really his own needs to be popular, to be liked, to be seen as great. A fourth quality of a poor father figure is that he brings out the worst in his children. So a good father figure would bring out the best in his children. So a poor father figure would actually encourage his children's worst habits. So if his children are using drugs, he'll go, go ahead, use some more drugs, let me use them with you. And he will not think about the consequences to his children. He will, again, just be thinking about what will get them to like me, what will get them to you know, keep me in my popular position. So it's never about what's good for the kids and it's always about what's good for him. And he will encourage all their worst tendencies because in a lot of us human beings, it's easier and more fun to do the things that are not good than to do the things that are challenging and difficult but the right thing. And so this poor father figure will bring out these worst qualities and encourage them because it will make him more popular. And finally, the bad father figure, the poor father figure will abandon all of his children, even the ones who support him, even the ones who believe in him, even the ones who care about him. He will abandon them ultimately because the only person he's really thinking about is himself. And so even if the spoiled children who are, you know, doing all the bad things and whatever they want and listening to all his stories about, you know, what they want to hear as opposed to what's true, even though they're following him and, and appreciating him and thinking he's a cool father figure, he will abandon them because ultimately the only person who matters to the poor father figure is himself. So I'm Dr. Marcia Sirota talking to you today about what makes a not very good father figure. Please stay tuned for my next video on what makes a good father figure and my series on coping with COVID and moving into autumn with good self-care.